Hello friends, and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Definitely in the same vein as the usual content, but a little bit different. Instead of looking into some current Tumblr phenomenon, I thought we would delve into a little bit of Tumblr history. Don't worry, we're not going too far back. This happened in 2016, so all of you who were 2012-2013 Tumblr kids like myself, um, who just had a heart attack, it's okay. Calm down. <laughs> this is a situation which I can only describe as the toe thing. It kind of like, like I remembered that it was a thing and I was like, how do I like search that? Like, and I typed Tumblr toe into Google and I found it. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. Some of you may not. Some of you may be aware of other scandals that the person involved in this has been in. But before we get into it, not jump into it, I'm not gonna torture you with deep fried Philip DeFranco this week. Before we get into it, I would like to tell you about this week's sponsor, Audible. Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio content, news, and comedy. You guys know I've been using Audible for a long time before they reached out to sponsor me. I genuinely love them and I am always hype to promote the love of reading. Or listening, I guess, in this case. I spent a good chunk of my night last night listening to Mall of Flanders by Daniel Defoe. Um, I have to read it for a course on early novels. It's not something that I would ever really pick up on my own. And oh my lord, is it rambling and tedious by modern standards. But hearing it read aloud on 1.5 speed, I find myself actually enjoying it and seeing what people love so much about it. If you're intimidated by older literature, want to get in on that dark academia community, highly, highly recommend trying out audiobooks. So head on over to audible.com slash strangeons or text strangeons to 500-500 to start your 30-day free trial today. You get one free audiobook and two free Audible originals courtesy of Audible. And now on with your Tumblr history lesson. This is an article from the most reliable source on the internet, BuzzFeed News. A Tumblr user has mailed another Tumblr user her severed toe to make it into a necklace. Warning, this post contains photos of a severed toe in a jar. Earlier this month, a Tumblr user by the name of Cummy Eyelids posted photos of a severed toe that she was sent in the mail by another Tumblr user named Royally Oily. If you click on these links now, this one leads to a blog that is filled with babies. Just every picture is either posts in Spanish or a similar language. I don't know. I'm not cultured. Um, and pictures of babies. It's all babies. I So naturally I got very uncomfortable very quick into scrolling through this and decided to not. I don't know if this URL just now belongs to someone who's really likes pictures of babies or if this is the same person and she's just in a phase in her life but let's go to archive and see what we can find so this blog appears to have only been active in september and october of 2017 or everything else was deleted also what is this anyway this is a screenshot of the original post so Tummy Eyelids wrote, A few days ago, I received a very special package in the mail. It contains this amputated human toe belonging to the lovely Royally Oily. Like, literally, this is a toe off of her foot. I'll be changing the solution, putting, in an, putting it in a new pretty jar, and potentially making it into a wearable pendant. Taking on this project is so super meaningful to me, more so than any other jewelry project I've taken on, including the engagement ring. I'm so appreciative of her trust in me, and I am so excited to work on this. Pretty wholesome. Obviously, I did my research yesterday. From what I can tell, this person is in the vulture culture community, um, and definitely worked with animal parts before, but this was the first human body part. If you've watched my vulture culture video, um, like, I'm pretty desensitized to this from, like, seeing a kind of wholesome community built around, like, amateur taxidermy and stuff like that, so I'm like, yeah. Seems legit. Seems like Tumblr. But I see how this would be very shocking to someone who is not familiar. Anyway. In the comments beneath the photo, the two users talked about how happy they were to be turning Royally Oily's toe into a necklace. Literally brought tears to my eyes. I'm so grateful and excited myself. Not only do I absolutely trust your artistic experience, cummy eyelids, but I also feel my body part. Yes, an actual piece of me could not be in more capable hands. I know you will respect and care for my little piggy. I appreciate this more than you will ever know. That's pretty cute. That seems pretty wholesome. And then someone else commented, Hey guys, just a quick question. What the fuck is going on here? This is the toe. Yes, this is the third time you have shown us the toe. It kind of looks like a shrimp. Can I show- I feel like I can show this on YouTube because it doesn't- It doesn't look gruesome. It doesn't look like a toe. It just- It looks like a shrimp, you know? 
Obviously, other users were very upset about this whole thing. Tumblr, where white hoes sending other white hoes their pinky toes. IDK about you. IDK about you, but I wish someone would have the love and dedication to send me a toe. I'm just saying, I have my wisdom teeth. They're fully intact. That's the equivalent of a $15 Starbucks gift card. I need limbs. <laughs> Teenagers out here sending body parts as gifts and I can't even get a text back. Okay, that makes it sound like it was some weird online lesbian romance where, but it wasn't. Um, these two met via one person commissioning a toe necklace from the other. They were both adults in their 20s. Facebook, Sunday Night Football, Twitter, Westworld was crazy. Tumblr, a girl cut off her toe and sent it to another girl to make a pendant. She didn't cut it off. We're getting to this. We're getting to this. Okay. If I ever see that toe post with my own two fucking eyes, I'm going to straight up kill Tumblr. I really want to know how the, how the toe pendant turned out, which was why I was interested in seeing what was going on on those blogs now, or like getting any updates on this situation, but I cannot find it. I cannot find any updates to what the toe pendant eventually looked like, and I want to know. Thankfully, Cummy Eyelids, a 23- yeah, I'm gonna keep saying it. A 23-year-old named Lana told BuzzFeed News the whole story. First off, no, royally oily, a 26-year-old named Haley did not sever her own toe to make it into jewelry. Haley had that toe amputated for medical reasons in 2011. This is why I did my research. The toe was not actually amputated in 2011. The uh, preservation solution expired in 2011, so which is why she needed to get it re-preserved, um, even though she waited until 2016 to do this. So the toe was actually amputated like a decade before this, like for medical reasons, because it was there was under it was like it was like a weird underdeveloped toe. There was something wrong with it. It needed to be removed for medical reasons. So she kept it in a jar in a solution preservation solution that expired in 2011 and she ended up waiting until 2016 to send it to this person to get it made into a pendant. Anyway, Lana is an artist who posts photos of her projects on Tumblr. Typically she said she works with wet specimens, bones, and skulls and said she makes jewelry out of copper and silver. This project is just a very w nice way for me to combine my skills, Lana said. She said that she plans on re-preserving the toe and putting it in a pretty pendant sized jar. Obviously, this tangent spilled back onto her blog where Lana answered some questions about it. Why the toe in a jar from 2011? It's actually even older than that. She had it amputated nearly a decade ago. 2011 was the expiration date of the preservation solution, hence why I'm changing the solution in the jar for her. Smiley face. Which toe? Curious. Fourth toe. Second to pinky. <laughs> also, judging by some of the questions, it looks like Lana might have even more future Tumblr user body part projects lined up in the future. I wish I could send you my ribs I had removed. I had thoracic outlet syndrome. Oh wow, that must have been really intense surgery. I hope it all went well for you. That's super sweet that you would send them to me, and thank you. Always gotta ask the doctor for the stuff they remove, lol. Here's the thing. I feel like people love to report on Tumblr from an outside perspective, like, oh, look at these weird-ass teenagers sending each other toes. But I feel the need to talk about this because I have been on Tumblr for so many years and because I am very down with a lot of the weird shit. If it's all consensual, I think this is totally fine. And I think the outrage, outrage or shock from the rest of the internet is funny. According to the toe's owner, Haley, the toe was amputated years ago. I had, she told the Huffington Post, as I got older, the skin around my toe began to get infected and tear open. Gross, I know, and it would cause me to not be able to even walk at times. I was in constant pain. At age 17, the doctor, at age 17, the doctor said he'd help me best he could, and removing the problem seemed the simplest. He removed my fourth toe. Haley told us that she kept the toe because of spiritual reasons. I feel very inclined to be buried and cremated whole with all of my teeth and bones. I decided to have Lana rejar my toe because the liquid has been overdue for a change and also because I really love my toe. It's a part of me and deserves proper enclosure. We too love our toes, Haley. <laughs> Thanks, Huffington Post, for that. <laughs> Lana said on Tumblr that in addition to changing the preservation solution, she will be electroforming the lid shut and adding crystals or stones to make it extra sparkly and pretty. We are- I want to know what this toe pendant looked like! Uh, okay. I've contacted various wet specimen artists over the years and not a single one would take on this project, said Haley. I'm grateful Lana is so open-minded and talented. I'm lucky the internet connected us. Tumblr is a magical wonderland of blogging and body parts. This is what her feet look like now. Um, honestly, it doesn't even look that weird at a first glance. And again, if you click on her blog, it's just the weird baby blog again. I'm so... What is the mystery of the weird baby blog to? I want to know so much that I just couldn't find out. Okay. I've known intuitively since a young age to keep my body parts, Haley wrote. When I die, I'd like to be buried and cremated whole. I'll let my loved ones decide what to do with my remains, but it's important to me for spiritual reasons that I'm all together. 
Preserving the toe is important for Haley. She was teased for having a deformed foot when she was growing up. Dealing with the teasing made her tough skin, she said. My toe, as odd and strange as it is, is a badge of courage for me, she wrote. My cousin once locked me in a pantry and called me stubby with his friends for hours until my aunt came and let me out. I'd be lying if I didn't mention that I have guilt for removing something that really helped me form my grit. I actually get depressed sometimes just thinking about how it was a part of me and now it's not. I know that sounds insane, but whatever, it's just true. I'm hoping that by giving myself the option to wear it again, I'll be able to let go of some of the guilt I feel for removing it. This article has um, some other pictures of work that Lana has done. So there's some teeth. Love that. It's a consensual agreement between, you know, both of these people who are really happy to be doing this and I don't see the harm in it. However, when I searched tummy eyelids on Tumblr, I was, I was really relieved <laughs> that I didn't get any um, too interesting results. I'm really glad. <laughs> But anyway, so let's look at some of these posts. Um, that cummy eyelids girl is exactly what disgusts me about a lot of magic practitioners, witches, etc. today, that there is no genuine connection, no genuine compassion, no understanding, no thought, just aesthetic and thinking something is cool. I hope that little girl whose remains are being desecrated rests in peace. So that escalated a little bit. There is a picture of Lana slash cummy eyelids posing with a skull, which is a real human skull. And there is a lot of misinformation about it. I cannot confirm that it is the skull of a child or a young girl, but people are questioning the morals of taking selfies with an unknown human skull. Tumblr discourse is just a real life episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The gang steals the remains of a human child and takes selfies with it is 100% a plot synopsis from a future episode of the show. Me logging onto tumblr.com. What's the tea today? Tumblr. User Cubby Eyelids has purchased a child skeleton for $30 at a flea market and refuses to admit how math massively unethical this is. Me. Logging off Tumblr.com. If your grave doesn't say rest in peace on it, Tumblr user Cubby Eyelids automatically buys and desecrates your skeleton. So here's the original post. Haven't decided whether I'm showing the pictures yet, but it's, it's her posing with a skull. The caption is handsome skull friend and I. And someone commented, man, this is so disrespectful, what the fuck? And someone said, the skull is supposedly an antique teaching skeleton she bought at a flea market, but the fucked up thing is it's probably someone who died impoverished and alone, and most teaching skeletons were made from the bodies of people who weren't claimed at hospitals. People of color and disabled people were at higher risk of having their death wishes ignored and to have their bodies studied after they passed on, because they were often viewed as not people or as medical opportunities. If she had any moral compass, she would bury the skull and show it some respect. I get your outrage, but you have some things wrong. The skull is not from a flea market. She doesn't even have the skeleton from it. Her long-distance friend bought it and she wasn't even with her when she bought it. That doesn't really negate that it could come from a super unethical source, just because she didn't purchase it herself. The skull in these photos was from her personal bone collection and most likely bought from an oddity shop. She removed the original post and gave snarky responses to people because nobody was listening to her when she clarified that the skeleton is not hers. And so she can't do anything about it no matter how much people complain to her anyway. From all of the different sources and claims. I have no idea what the facts of this situation are. Is it an antique teaching skeleton? Is it a child skeleton? Like, but you know, the, the simple fact of posing with an unknown human skull for selfies seems a little bit odd and disrespectful, at least to me. Like, I'm totally down with all of this stuff when there is either consent when it's human remains, which obviously there isn't in this situation, or if there's a genuine respect uh, when it's animal remains, I saw, like, the vulture culture community overall, what I saw was, like, so, so respectful and wholesome. So while I do support a lot of this, I also want to make it clear that there is a... Sometimes there is a line drawn, and I couldn't talk about this in a totally supportive way without addressing the fact that there has been a lot of controversy around this person who's involved. Like, honest to god, this whole thing is a hundred thousand times worse than the toe thing. I'm personally totally cool with a severed toe. It's interesting to see what people do with bodies slash parts of of the deceased and alive when done so consensually. Some dude had his leg amputated from injury and had a dinner with his friends using the meat for tacos. I just- okay. That shit is tight. Okay, we're just gonna not with that. Like, I understand people being squeamish about it, but I feel like you can't really say the two are equally ethically unsound. But the ambiguous and non-consensual use of human remains is so entirely different. Uh, yeah. I'm still processing the, the leg, the human leg tacos. I guess that's also legal and consensual, but I wouldn't eat a human leg taco, uh, personally. <laughs> Those are just my life choices. But yeah, I guess it's, it's still more ethical than the posing with 
human remains thing. Logan Paul's got nothing on Tumblr user cummy eyelids. I say this in a lot of my Tumblr deep dive videos not to bother the communities that I'm talking about or send them weird messages or spam them with messages. If you're interested or thinking about joining that community, I think that's amazing and I'm glad that my videos directed you to something that you love, but please interact with them in a respectful way. If you think this stuff is kind of cool, there is the vulture culture community, um, but also please do not find either of the people involved in the toe situation. Regardless of what you feel about the more controversial situations, we don't really have any solid facts. Please do not send any messages to this person. Let me know in the comments if you like this and if there are any uh, moments in Tumblr history that you would like me to talk about. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video next week. And if you're thinking Tia, where is the Onision book review? Where is it? You've been saying it's coming out since August. Um, next week?